Hello everyone, I am Rohit Kashyap, business developer at Webcool and welcome to the Webcool podcast session. In today's episode, we have invited Lee Seward from GrowConnect. So what is GrowConnect? GrowConnect is an online B2B marketplace platform. It is based out from United States and what it does is basically connects buyers, uh, suppliers, growers, wholesalers uh, from all around the world to connect and do their business online so uh, now let let us meet uh, lee himself and we'll ask some uh, some of uh, questions about his business and his initial uh, struggles that he was facing and how webcool team helped him uh, to make his grow connect business successful okay so uh, lee thank you for joining us joining in and first of all a very good morning Thank you for your valuable time that you have arrived uh, in Webcool podcast session. So, uh, how are you doing today? Hey, good morning and uh, or good good evening for you. And uh, yeah, it's six a.m. here. Uh, good morning. Uh, so, my name is Lee Seward, and I'm the CEO and founder of GrowConnect.com. Okay, so Lee, thank you for the introduction. So I'll be asking some few questions about your business and how you uh, how you were facing those challenges and how you overcome them and how Webcool helped your business. Uh, so I have some pre uh, like questions decided. So let's begin. So let's uh, start with your introduction. So please tell us about yourself. Like give us some your background before you were doing like grow connect what were you doing before that sure so uh prior to starting grow connect uh which i started in 2020 Mm -hmm. i had been in the construction industry and development real estate development uh a lot of what my past achievements were were building uh and developing properties extremely fast uh high-end type of residences uh, and properties and, uh, and using my energy and my drive to problem solve that industry and pretty much automate it to allow us to complete projects in a very short condensed time frame. Okay. And now I'm using that and implementing that into grow connect. Okay. So now, uh, like tell us, uh, more about what is Grow Connect and what is uh, is its purpose and mission that is trying to solve and uh, what do you want to say about that? Sure. So Grow Connect is an online wholesale marketplace for mm-hmm. food and ag products. Okay. And what we do, like for instance, we have uh, say a farmer in Egypt who mm-hmm. has strawberries that they're ready to harvest. Mm-hmm. What we'll do is connect them with buyers all over the world okay. uh, and help them sell and become solvent. And, uh, and in the same turn, what we do is help, you know, buyers save money and, and time with sourcing quality product. Okay. So it's like you are building a global marketplace, not just for one particular country. So you are connecting farmers, wholesalers and buyers from each and every country around the world. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. We're helping everybody around the world. And and this industry and space that we're in, Mm -hmm. really, it moves around the world. You know, if you just think of an orange tree, an orange tree produces oranges one time a year. So where that tree Mm -hmm. is planted, that area is going to be saturated with oranges and then it's not going to have oranges. So, uh, what we're able to do is help the farmer move their product and also provide product for buyers all year long. Okay. So uh, next, I wanted to ask, like, uh, would you like to share some thoughts about like the current industry scenario uh, about your you know market, like what's going on currently in the industry? especially in your, you know, agriculture sector. So do you want to say something about that? Yeah. So as you know, uh, Rohit, Mm -hmm. this industry, uh, every industry really Mm -hmm. is affected by the internet. 
Yes. You know, and um, agriculture and food has really been traded offline with offline techniques. So what Grow Connect's goal is, is to change how things have been done in the past and get the industry onto the internet. Okay. So next I wanted to ask like, uh, how do you, how did you get inspired to, you know, to start this, uh, your e-commerce venture? Was there any story or maybe you got inspired by someone uh, that you, you know, you follow or maybe some kind of a, a product uh, or maybe an organization that uh, helped you start this Grow Connect? Is there some kind of a interesting story behind it? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say there's one story, but mm -hmm. uh, there's a few factors that came into play uh, in developing and creating Grow Connect. And okay. the area where I live, mm -hmm. the farmers there were selling to a, a co-op that had okay. filed for bankruptcy protection. So all of their hard work that they did that season, they were now not going to be paid for. And I found it surprising that they didn't have other options for buyers, that basically they put all their eggs in one basket. And, and co-ops have changed over the years. They were privatized. They were actually owned by the farmers. And over the years, they've become private companies and private organizations. And, you know, that just doesn't fare well when you don't have options. So there's one story. It's a dairy farmer named Jack that I met. Mm -hmm. And Jack had a, has a few thousand acres. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't using his property to the full potential. So speaking with Jack, you know, he did, he did well, uh, you know, he did struggle to break even. He had a lot of costs and he okay. just, you know, as I said, wasn't really maximizing his property. So within a week of, of meeting Jack and speaking with him, I connected him with a grower who was looking for land okay. and the grower ended up leasing 750 acres from Jack. And from that, uh, and the co-op, that was how I created Grow Connect. Interesting story. So, were you facing? Uh, I hope you must be like everyone. Whenever you know, uh, starting in you know the e-commerce business or any other you know business, uh, they face some kind of you know uh, struggles or you know challenges while setting up their businesses. So I'm sure uh, you must have also faced the same. So would you like to tell us about that? Yeah. Uh... I think in my space, it's, it's probably more challenging than mm -hmm. others, uh, you know, because this is, is so focused on offline sales, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's changing the way uh, sales have been done historically. And, and the reason for that and the obstacle is trust. And when you speak with the older generation and you talk to them about purchasing product online, you know, their feeling is that it can't be done. It's transactional. You're just not going to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, when you step back and look at it, when you walk into a brick and mortar store and you purchase something, that's a transaction. So by pre-qualifying our buyers and pre-qualifying our growers and connecting, you know, uh, qualified, basically qualified buyers and sellers together, you are able to do online transactions and you're able to do them at a greater scale than doing them through your brick and mortar and old school offline ways. And that's what we do at Grow Connect. Okay. So next, I wanted to take some advice from you. Uh, maybe someone from your region or maybe some another region, if he wants to start some uh, kind of, you know, e-commerce business or maybe take his existing business, uh, traditional business into online. So do you have any suggestions for, for that person who may be starting a similar kind of business as ProConnect? Well, I have two pieces of advice okay. and I would say, you know, it really fits with any type of business, not just industry specific. And what that would be is one, know your market, you know, That's do true. your homework, do your research, search, and know the problem that you're solving. 
And then two would be perseverance with any type of business. And especially when you're tapping into a new space and trying to change that new space, like I am doing with Grow Connect in agriculture, you're going to get a lot of opposition. You're going to get negativity. People are going to say you can't do it. And with knowing your marketplace and doing your homework, that'll give you the drive to persevere and continue. So those are the two pieces of advice that I would give anyone starting a business. Okay, that's great. Uh, next, I wanted to uh, like ask, since uh, you have just started your business and it's an online business, so as you know, like there in an online world, on special Google, there are like hundreds or maybe thousands of retailers, online sellers. So what do you do to help uh, your customers, your suppliers discover GrowConnect? I'm just asking like, what do you do for like promotion? Maybe uh, you may be doing an online promotion or an offline or maybe both. So what is your strategy? Well, what we work on is, you know, one, thanks to Webco, we know we have the confidence that our website's functioning 24 seven and 365 days a year. So that gives you confidence and you know, makes you secure in your forward uh, progress for building your, your, your brand and, and your customer pool. So uh, we found that qualifying our buyers, qualifying our growers and, you know, constantly working at customer service because that's the space that we're in. We're, you know, our, our reputation and our uh, success is driven really on our, the results and the respect that we give our customers and our clients. And that's how we've been focused and that's what we work on to succeed and to grow. Okay. So let's uh, now talk about your team size. Uh, like how many uh, employees do you have? Like how many uh, like teammates? Uh, so, so how do you work uh, at GrowConnect? Like do you have a physical office or like how do you like collaborate with your team? So please tell us. We have a physical office uh, in or Oregon okay. and we also have another one uh, in Connecticut okay. and what we do is we're focused on building our leadership team and we have that in place and we're also working on our sales team and because our our business is global mm -hmm. you're really not going to be successful with you know an office in, in the, the traditional office way you know having yeah. headquarters yeah. and everybody uh, with the time zones and the trading that is going on at a global scale, we have people spread out all over. And we have a sales team that we're working with and training right now in Eastern Europe. And, you know, our, our plan is to have uh, qualified and capable people spread out all over the world so we can operate in all time zones at all times of the year. So uh, the next question is, I wanted to ask is, uh, how did Webcool, uh, Webcool, our company, help Grow Connect? Please uh, tell us so that other uh, clients can know about, you know, about Webcool, how it is helping, uh, you know, global clients and emerging businesses as Grow Connect. So please sure, tell us. that's the easiest question to ask me, by the way, at 6 a.m. So. Uh, you know, Webkill offers a lot of plug and play products that we've purchased. Mm -hmm. But the best part about Webkill that I found, uh, besides the support team, is the ability that Webkill has to work outside the box. And like what we operate and how we operate and how I think mm -hmm. is outside the box. Our customers, our, our growers, our buyers are not, uh, you know, they're not plug and play. There's certain things that each side needs. And by using Webco, we're able to take any product and then customize it and not worry about it. And, you know, as I said in an earlier question that you asked, 
having the comfort and confidence that my website's going to operate every day and knowing mm -hmm. that I have web code overseeing my, my operations and giving me support, uh, it's a win-win for everyone. So yeah, I highly recommend web code. Thank you for those uh, beautiful words. Uh, at last, I uh, wanted to ask, would you like to share some of your future plans about the Grow Connect? Uh, any thoughts you would like to share about Grow Connect, about your vision, where do you see Grow Connect in maybe uh, in near future? Yeah, I mean, our focus is really the same as when we started Grow Connect, mm -hmm. and we're just going to constantly elaborate on that and expand on it. And what that is, is, is connecting qualified buyers uh, that are financially stable and secure with, with growers who are growing to uh, the standards that are in place globally and providing quality product and consistency all over the world. And that's in any country and across countries. And our goal is to, you know, our, our byproduct of our goal is to have ex food accessible to everyone anywhere and to improve the quality of food as well and working with webco we have uh, mm -hmm. a few uh, development uh, items in progress that we're going that we're working on to implement into our our company and to expand upon to improve all of this, you know, and our buyers will see value using Grow Connect because of what we have in place. Okay, Lee, um, I have all my questions have been like finished. Thank you for answering each one of them. So I would like to thank you for your uh, valuable time and coming uh, into our webpool podcast session. So hope to see you again and. We wish you all the very best for Grow Connect. Goodbye. Well, thank you very much. And I really appreciate the opportunity for uh, asking me to, uh, you know, questions and, uh, and for getting me uh, ready for my day without any coffee today. Um, so that is awesome. Thank you very much, Rohit. And WebCool has been, you know, very good to Grow Connect and is a very a uh, very good company and I really appreciate uh, the whole team. So thank you very much and thank I you. hope uh, you uh, again, watching it will, you. Uh, will gain from this. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.